what's going on guys welcome to another youtube tutorial my name is wally and today i'll be showing you how to use a six free photoshop action that i just dropped you can check the description below to download without no delay let's get into it Photoshop actions are recorded series of steps that is put together into one click. Real quick, I want to show you how I use those actions to transform this image um, from this raw format. Let me just zoom out. This was before and after. I'm going to turn off my color grade and all of that. So I'll take it off from this. So basically, first thing you want to do is go to window, click on actions and this box or tab will pop up so next thing okay let me take this out i already have this um action um, folder so um go to this part here click on load actions so first we have to install that action into our photoshop so i'm just gonna double click and open or double click it to just bring this um folder so I named it makeup by Wally Visual. So basically it's just to enhance your makeup and lots more. So let's start with the first one, darken eyebrow. I'm just gonna click on it and come down here and play. So basically you just click on the black box here, which is the layer marks then move on to your brush to set your opacity to 100 flow to 100 make sure your foreground is set to white and then move into that area and start brushing so let's see how before and after before and after now to see the whole brushing press hold your command button on mac or control button on pc and click inside this black box so it will give you a preview of what you brush on or those areas you brush on so as you can notice this small part is yet to be brushed and i think we went out of that shape so what i'll just do is press ctrl d to deselect or command d on mac so i want to take out some some of these parts as it was showing me okay good so then switch back to white foreground and brush on that small area i think we're good for this so moving on Go back here let's click on darken eyelashes so click on darken eyelashes and press the play button so you can reduce the size of your brush when dealing with um, small areas like this let's see before and after good so move on to the next eye real quick um little things like this can actually help your image come out good so i would advise you take your time to do them pay attention to little details like this and let's say before and after good um moving on to the next one um our nose trees are already dark so i'm just gonna skip that but the same procedure so let's move on to eyeshadow pop remember set your brush opacity to 100 and flow to 100 while your foreground color is set to white if it's not you have to double click on it and change it to white all right so i'm moving in this is the eyeshadow what this does is that it just pops the color on the eyeshadow so 
as you can see those colors are coming back to life so let's see before and after good you can be creative with this there's a lot you can do with it there are times i apply this um, on the leaves as well we have um whites eye and teeth this can work for for the eyes and also the teeth so if you want to use it for both i would suggest that when you create one you can simply drag it down or duplicate just by pressing command j or ctrl j so let's just duplicate this layer so we'll name one white seats and the other one will be white eye okay, okay. Um, so before you brush if I thought you want to take out some of this um, texture showing you can simply create an empty layer select the patch tool and let's see sorry I didn't select sample or layer okay just a few because I like to retain those texture not necessarily everything in this case so let's move on let me name this so let's move on now pick your brush to oh sorry this has to be on top of that layer and we'll brush so remember if you go out of the area you want to brush it's very easy just change the foreground color to black and it should take it out for you for example i brush in here i can just switch to black and brush on that same area to take it out so don't be too conscious while brushing here if you make any mistake you can easily use the black foreground to correct it So let's check out before and after um, by default the opacity is set to 75 but for me in this case it's a bit too much so I'm just gonna drop it down a bit to that point where it almost feels like nothing happened okay that's not bad let me zoom out to see before and after all right good so same thing brush okay good that six opacity works for me that six percent opacity works for me so uh, moving on to the next one which is a um, leap enhancer so let me click the play button So don't forget to always press your control or command button and click on the black box. This will just give you a preview of those areas that you brushed on. Actually, this helps me to be more precise so I don't go out of this area to brush on the skin. So let's see how before and after. Wow. Okay, so let me just group all of this into one folder and name these enhancements so and that's it how to use this actions to you know enhance your makeup i hope you enjoyed today's video if you do please give it a thumbs up like and share 
and don't forget to subscribe turn on your notification bell so as to be updated when i drop the next video if you have any questions drop them in the comment section as i'll be glad to answer them see you in the next video